I want to come to the second the part being. of the center stage face-off for tonight. Has Mahinder Singh Dhoni made his position untenable? Arish Salve argued in court today that Dhoni misled Justice Mudgal by saying that Mayappan was just a cricket enthusiast supporting the Chennai Super Kings, knowing fully well that he was much more than just a sporting enthusiast. He, in fact, was the team principal. Does that clear, blatant lie make Dhoni's position untenable? We don't know fully whether uh, this is what Dhoni argued in front of Justice Mudgal. Is that the case, Borea? You've read this report. Is this indeed what Dhoni said to Justice Mudgal? Why would he say something like this, which he knows is not true at all? Absolutely that is the case. I've read that report not once but hundred times. You know, 100% Harish Salve is right in saying that Mahendra Singh Dhoni justified or, or reiterated what Mr. Srinivasan said one year back, that uh, Gurunath Mayappan is an enthusiast. I think he said it under pressure. I think he said it under pressure from Mr. Srinivasan. I feel disappointed, dejected and sad, Rahul, that my cricket captain, who represents a billion plus mad cricket followers, has lied under oath. He was compelled. I seriously think it was not Mahendra Singh Dhoni. I think he was compelled by Mr. Srinivasan and some of the other players in this whole controversy, which forced Mahendra Singh Dhoni's hand to lie under oath. Coming to your bigger question of whether it's untenable, yes it is. You know, the Indian cricket captain lying and his name being taken in the Supreme Court, quote unquote, Harish Salve saying, for corrupt conduct, I think that is the worst shameful thing that can happen for Indian cricket. I think he can continue as a player, Indian but for the sake of the game, for the dignity, for the sanctity of the game, he should step down no, as captain. Justice Mughal was not a serving <coughs> judge. So this is not lying under oath, but lying nonetheless is bad enough. Gulu Ezekiel, do you concur with the argument being made by Borea that the fact that here's a man we all look up to, he's our cricket captain, and if he goes and lies before a judge, that's not okay. Dhoni knows. Uh, that Mayappan is much more than a cricket enthusiast. Despite that, he goes and tells Justice Mudgal that here is uh, someone who's just a cricket enthusiast and not my team principal. Does that now render Dhoni's position as captain of India untenable, Gulu Ezekiel? You see, uh, in my heart of hearts, I really feel sorry for somebody like Dhoni, who is basically under the thumb of his boss in India Simmons. And make no mistake about it, Dhoni's uh, uh, you know, his commitment and his loyalty lies with India Simmons. And this is why the Supreme Court in its wonderful verdict today has said that anybody and everybody connected to India Simmons, including half a dozen players in the Indian team, should be completely removed from the BCCI structure. Now this whole India Simmons business has been uh, planted within the BCCI by Mr. Srinivasan and it has corrupted the entire structure from top to bottom and it has poisoned the entire groundwater of Indian cricket. And here you have a young man, Mr. Dhoni is a young man, the captain of the Indian team, under tremendous pressure from his employee and boss to lie to a sitting judge or a retired judge. And I mean, I'm not a legal expert. Rahul, maybe you can tell me. I don't know whether this is perjury or not. But it's a terrible, terrible situation. No, this may not Indian be perjury as defined by the law, by but this is a sin grave enough. There comes a time in your life, Nikhil, when you need to take a stand. There might be commercial pressures, there may be pressures from your bosses, your owners, but you need to stand up and say, I will not lie. You're, you're, you're testifying before a judge. He may not be a sitting judge, but surely you need to take that testimony seriously. And for what Dhoni has done, should he not step down as captain of the Indian team, Nikhil? I completely understand where you're coming from. You know, it's very easy for you and me to sit here and decide, you know, what Mahindra Singh Dhoni has done under oath uh, is completely wrong. But don't forget, Mr. Srinivasan is the board president. So you know, what? At the end of the you day, you take a he's, position. He's looking to play for his country under pressure. If he said what he's done, he's probably not. How do you know there was pressure? Well, without a doubt, you know. How do you know he's not part of the same gang? And how do you know that you know, he's not part of the same me, collusion? You tell me, for an eight-year-old, you ask him who's the owner of Chennai Super Kings. He'll say Gurunath Mayapan or the man who's been there from day one. You know, so he cannot be a cricket enthusiast. But your other question. No, but that's what Dhoni he, said. Exactly. Therefore, that's should he step down as captain? That's very made a mistake. But what is in question? His credentials as a uh, player, as a captain, is not in doubt. And we are debating the fact for Chennai Super Kings. Never anything has uh, been spoken about. Mr. Mutaya, team India. What is so in question is his position before Justice Mudgal in his capacity as captain of the Chennai Super Kings. Nikhil Chopra arguing tonight that this has no bearing on Dhoni's position as captain of Team India. Mr. Mutaya. How can it be? See, Dhoni is the face of Indian cricket and he can't say a 
open lie like this that uh, Gurunath Mahapan is a is an enthusiast. He knows fully well he's not an enthusiast. He's been in the dressing rooms. He's been loitering all around the team. And how can uh, he say such a thing? And just because his uh, boss has compelled him to say, and he is under compulsion, that's why he has said that. Uh, no, but, but that's not okay, Nikhil. Nikhil. I'm cricket. appalled by the argument that you're making. <laughs> Even if this has nothing to do with his position as the Indian captain, it's the same player. He can't disassociate Dhoni, the CSK captain, from Dhoni, the India captain. It's the same person, the same integrity, the same set of values. And now he's being called morally corrupt. How can a man who's being accused of being morally corrupt in the Supreme Court uh, continue to be our captain? No, I haven't read that report where, you know, it says, uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni says that he's a cricket enthusiast. On the papers, I don't know. The technicalities, I'm not a legal expert. But whatever was put in front of Mahindra Singh Dhoni, that's what he's probably uh, gone in there and corroborated. Under pressure, not under pressure, you know, at the end of the day, he's been playing for Chennai Super Kings. Their boss is the uh, BCCI's president. Everybody's got a dream to go out there and play for India. So you can't go out there and you hang You can't Dhoni. blame Dhoni, you no, can't hang him for what he said. You have to realize he's a human being and he's under pressure from the CSK chief. Uh, Gulu Ezekiel, do you agree, agree with that argument? Yeah. No, you see, you can't blame Dhoni, you can't blame etc, etc. What you have to blame is that the entire e IPL ecosystem now is that a cricketer, including the captain of the Indian team, owes more loyalty to his franchise than to his nation. Now I ask you, and I ask of millions of fans out there, if you had a choice between supporting a franchise in IPL, which may or may not appear, uh, exist after one year, or if you had a choice of supporting your nation, which one would you choose? Now the, the situation has become such that our Indian cricketers are forced to make a choice and they are choosing their franchise over their nation because of the tremendous uh, pressure being put on them by franchise owners and by the enormous amounts of cash which is in other words corrupted the entire